Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Pastor Donna Batiste, and I serve at Alliance Tabernacle in Brooklyn, New York. I am part of the 67th Precinct Clergy Council, and one of the tasks of this uh, council is against gun violence. I want to tell you a story to tell you how serious we take this. Where's, where is uh, Assemblywoman Monique Waterman? Before Monique Waterman ran for office, she had something and does something which is called Occupy the Corner. And there was a gun shooting, where was it? Church and 54th, I think. And we would go out from 10 o'clock to 2 o'clock in the morning walking, talking with gang members and praying with them, those who have committed the crime and those who have not. And there was this particular night when the shooting went down and they were ready to retaliate. But because we were there and we offered a prayer, guess what happened? It didn't happen. Amen? So that's why we are out here doing what we do. As the sister said, it's not for show. We do this because we are serious about it. Some people may ridicule us. Some people may think we're not serious, but we're not here to please people. We want to see the gun violence put down. So that's what the 70th Precinct uh, Interface Council does. That's what the 67th Precinct uh, uh, Community Council does, Clergy Council does. That's why he, Yama is out here and everybody else because we are sick and tired. We are fed up in that. We don't want to see another gun shot. We don't want to see anybody shut down. We don't want to see any bodega shooting. We don't want to see children shot. We don't want to see parents shot. We don't want to see men shot. We don't want to see women shot. So if you would allow me, I will do what I do best. I am a preacher, yes, but also I'm a prayer warrior. So I'm here to do prayer warrioring in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. That's the faith I follow. Because you see, what when people come to understand the power there is in prayer, and we get serious and get together, we would see a lot of this nonsense stuff. And it is nonsense. I want to pray, oh Lord Jesus, that those who are peppering our community with guns, because it's coming from somewhere, dear Lord God. There are no gun manufacturers in Brooklyn, New York. There are no gun manufacturers in New York City, dear Lord God. But yet, Father, the police keep collecting and collecting and collecting guns. Where are they coming from? So we want to join together and ask for God that whoever is peppering our community with guns, whatever the pipeline is that is bringing in these guns, I ask in the name of Jesus, shut it down in the name of the Father. Shut it down in the name of the Son. Shut it down in the name of the Holy Spirit. And I pray, oh God, that whatever covering that they have, that are protecting them over the years, that they can continually bring these guns in to New York City and other cities around the country. Expose them, God. Tear the covering off. Tear the canopy off. Whoever is covering them, expose them and the truth before God be spoken. Because somebody, oh Lord Jesus, is benefiting from these guns proliferating our community. But we join together, for you said if two agree on anything on earth, it's done in heaven. If we bind on earth, it's bound in heaven. If we loose on earth, it's loosed in heaven. But we bind every gun trafficker in the name of Jesus. And we loose, oh God, the work of law enforcement to do the work that they're called to do, Father God. Thank God I got a loud mouth so they don't have all their motorcycles all the day God, God, give me a loud voice so I can pray and tear down the struggles of the enemy. We tear it down. We tear it down. 
we tear it down. And I ask again, O oh God, that whoever is covering, or whatever is covering, the proliferation of guns in New York City, we ask together, shut it down in the name of the Father. I ask also, God, that every spirit of violence that has proliferated our communities from the north, from the south, from the east, from the west. Father, we bind every spirit of violence and we bind the spirit of mammon because it is violence and mammon that is pushing this forward. Yes, we come out here, but people forget we are clergy council working with law enforcement to see the stop of gun violence in our country. God, they're saying it is impossible. God, they're saying it cannot happen. But we are out here asking, oh God, in the might and the power of Jesus Christ, oh God, that you will tear it down now, that you will show them your might and power, that you are able to do, oh God, exceedingly, abundantly, above all we can ask, think or imagine. Show on your power, show on your might, show on your glory, and everything that is hidden, you're going to expose it to law enforcement. You're going to expose the pipeline. You're going to expose the ones who's covering them. And you're going to expose it and dry it up yeah. in the name of Jesus. That's what we are about. Yeah. You, you know a lot of people talk that the church, the clergy is just inside the walls and we are doing nothing. That's a lie from the pit of hell. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Hi, Sister Valerie. That's one of my parishioners there. It's a lie from the pit of hell. We are out here sometimes, yeah. two o'clock in the morning, yeah. talking, praying, fighting. Flatbush Leadership Academy has been established for our young people. Who did that? Clergy did that. And some of you need to get yourself back in church again so you can know how to pray and call your children out of these gangs and cover your children so that they will live out the full extent of their lives and that their, their years will not be bankrupted. Hallelujah! 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 Hallelujah for our children. God bless you. Praise you. Thank you very much, Pastor Donna Baptiste. Give her a big hand for her. And finally, ladies and gentlemen, we cannot close here because our main partner with this event it's because of our love for our bodegas that are here serving us. We would like to ask a young man, he's not an imam, but we would like to have him close with an Arabic prayer. All right. Is that all right? Yeah. Is that all right? Yeah. Young man, thank you. Hello, everyone. Assalamu alaikum. First